Hi guys and girls, hope everyone is okay. If you're one of those professionals looking for an ultra stylish, lightweight, 5G enabled go anywhere 2 in 1 laptop, the HP Elite Folio might be for you. Wrapped around in soft vegan leather with a frugal Quadcom Snapdragon 8CX Gen 2 processor beating inside, does it offer enough to justify its premium price tag? Let's find out. <music> Soft vegan leather wrapped around a 1.32 kilogram chassis making the Elite Folio very comfortable to carry around and ultra premium looking. It's also eco-friendly with 90% recycled aluminium. The luxurious look follows through internally with the dark oxycolor keyboard deck matching the leather cover. Everything feels solid and well put together. There's a pen garage above the keyboard for the included stylus. This also acts as a charging point for the pen. The Leap Folio is a 2-in-1 convertible with a unique twist. You have the usual laptop, tent and stand modes, but you can pull the screen over the keyboard, aka tablet mode, or rest it between the keyboard and touchpad in easel mode. This gives it a sturdy position for drawing or note taking, as the hinge can wobble in laptop or stand mode while using a pen or your fingers. You might be thinking I've seen this before, and you would be right. HP used this design with the 2019 Spectra Folio, with the exception of using real leather. To open up the Elite Folio, remove the pen, then the protective strip, undo the four Phillips screws and slide the bottom cover towards the hinge. The memory is soldered on, but the battery is removable along with the SSD and Wi-Fi card. The HP Elite Folio display is a 13.5 inch IPS touchscreen at a 3 x 2 aspect ratio with a 1080p resolution. The screen is protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 5. The display is generally very good with 100% sRGB colour gamut offering vivid colours and a useful brightness level of 400 nits. Text is sharp and clear when working on a report on Google Docs for several hours. The touchscreen is responsive with the stylus pen or your fingers making use of the different modes including the easel mode by pulling the screen forward. When in tablet mode, you can rest your wrist while note taking or drawing with a pen. There is a 1000 nits model with HP's Shoreview privacy display, but I would steer clear of this unless you really need the extra security feature. On the left we have the USB-C 3.2 Gen 1 port, supporting DisplayPort and power delivery. On the right we have a headphone microphone combo jack and an identical USB-C 3.2 Gen 1 port. If you need to extend the number of ports, consider something like the Swiss knife of USB hubs, the Ugreen USB-C docking station 10-in-1 multi-port adapter. On one side you have a 4K30 HDMI video port, VGA and Gigabit Ethernet. Round the side you have SD and microSD slots. On the other side you have three USB 3.0 ports and a 3.5mm audio jack. Finally you have a 100W USB-C pass-through charging port. The Ugreen USB-C hub is built in with the latest chips to guard against overheating, overcharging, overvoltage and short circuits. The Qualcomm Snapdragon X55 modem supports Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5 and LTE 25G. The Nano SIM slot can be found in the pen garage compartment. The Wicom AES 2.0 pen is housed in the pen garage above the keyboard tempting you to use the two button pen. The design is flat making it less comfortable to hold than a normal round pen shape. The pen's top button is also hidden making it hard to press down on it easily. Once you get used to these quirks, note taking or drawing with the pen is perfectly usable thanks to Wicom technology and 4096 degrees of pressure sensitivity. Due to the arm limitations, don't expect to use the Leap Folio with Photoshop. The pen has built in charging when it is parked, around 30 hours of battery life and 30 minutes to charge up. The Folio backlit HP Quiet keyboard is a joy to tap on. It has 1.3mm key travel and large spaced out keys plus it's spill resistant. The keys have a satisfying tactile feedback, great for touch typists with the added benefit of being ultra quiet. Perfect for quiet working environments or the library. The F2 key is blank for the Shoreview privacy feature model. The click pad is a nice size to glide your fingers on with pinch to zoom or scrolling gestures. It's smooth thanks to the glass surface and Microsoft Precision drivers. The Elite Folio's audio is a Bang & Olufsen quad stereo speaker setup. Two upward firing speakers either side of the keyboard plus two more side speakers in the palm rest area. Sound is loud and clear with a hint of bass. Perfect for video conferencing during the day with a dual ray microphones and a spot of music or video streaming at night. 
The 720p HD privacy camera is the usual poor video quality, grainy at times and dark even in a brightly lit office. Why have manufacturers not moved to 1080p webcam yet? On the plus side, there's a physical privacy shutter, slide across to keep things private. Beating inside the folio is a Quadcom Snapdragon 8CX Gen 2 ARM chip with a maximum clock speed of 3.1GHz. The benefit of the 8CX Gen 2 is power efficiency, higher clock speeds than the Gen 1 variant found on the Surface Pro X, an integrated 5G modem and Wi-Fi 6. On this review model we have 16GB of DDR4 soldered on memory and a 512GB PCIe NVMe SSD M.2 storage. As it's an ARM chip, competition to the x86 chips from AMD and Intel, you can only run 32-bit x86 applications or ARM64 written apps to make it run on the Snapdragon 8CX. You will therefore find app compatibility issues in the Elite Folio if you deviate from running Office or web-based apps. As a quick test, I tried to install some popular programs. The Steam and Epic launchers were installed, but don't expect to play any games on them. Fortnite fans will be disappointed as it won't run on the folio. The Adobe Creative Cloud Suite will install like Photoshop, but it's painfully slow to use. I wouldn't recommend using a folio for this type of work. Office 365 apps like Word and Excel are pre-installed on the Elite folio. Desktop versions of Microsoft Teams, Zoom and Slack will install on the folio. As it's an ARM processor, we can't run our usual benchmarks, but Geekbench 5.3 managed to install OK. Running this benchmark resulted in a score of 800 in single call and 3,159 in multi call. The folio will happily run multiple browser tabs along with compatible Office apps all day long in complete silence thanks to the Snapdragon 8CX and fanless design. Heat is not an issue too, so it's perfect for working on your lap for a couple of hours. Inside the Elite folio is the Quadcom Adreno 890 GPU, the same chip found on the Microsoft SQ2 in the Surface Pro X. It will run Microsoft Store games like Roblox, but Epic games like Fortnite or AAA titles will not run on this GPU. The Elite Folio has a 4-cell 46 watt-hour battery. Thanks to its average power consumption of 3.5 watts in idle operation and a maximum of 25 watts under load, battery life is around 15 hours. Almost two full working days, which is amazing. The HP 65W USB Type-C adapter will fast charge 90% in 90 minutes. The good, the bad, and the really bad. High quality design. There's no denying that Elite Folio is gorgeous to look at and hold in the hand. Leather covered in a lightweight and well put together chassis that will turn heads. Long battery life. One of the reasons for the choice of the Snapdragon 8CX Gen 2 compute platform is for always on, always connected laptop. Over 15 hours of battery life is possible with the Elite Folio, offering two days between charges. 5G compatible. As we consume more and more cloud services, faster connectivity will help. This is where a 5G and 4G LTE capable modem in the Elite Folio gives you the potential for instant access to your work, stream videos or make conference calls without delay. Low performance. If you're after a productivity beast running any Windows programs or the Adobe suite of apps, look elsewhere. The Snapdragon 8CX Gen 2 in the Folio was designed specifically to run web and office apps only. Take notes with the pen and catch up on video with your work colleagues anywhere. Highly reflective display. The 13.5 inch display on the folio is bright, vivid and a joy to work on. However, it can be hugely reflective under bright office lighting, near window or outdoors. Luckily as a two-in-one device you can work around this. Only three ports. Small bugbears, the Elite Folio was designed first and foremost as a lightweight Ultrabook. Therefore it's limited by its dimensions. However, I wish the HP engineers could have squeezed an SD card slot and possibly a third USB-C port for times when one port is taken up with charging. Expensive. Starting from 1,269 plus taxes for the base model to over 2,000 for this review model, the Leap Folio is not cheap, especially if you compare it with what you can get for the same money. If you are in the market for a Snapdragon laptop, what other laptops would you be looking at? In no particular order, here are some to consider. Surface Pro X. Samsung Galaxy Book Go, Lenovo Yoga 5G, Acer Spin 7. The Leap Folio showcases the best and worst features for using an ARM processor. Excellent battery life, 5G ready, ultra portable and premium design. The included stylus for note taking or sketching ideas is a bonus, especially with the innovative easel position. Performance-wise, if you stick to Office applications, web-based tabs and minor image or note-taking, the folio runs smoothly and quickly. 
If you require more performance or to run applications that are not compatible with the ARM processor, look to devices like the newly announced Microsoft Surface Laptop Studio for running heavyweight application. When you compare the steep price of the HP Elite Folio to the competition and the limitations that go with it, think twice before spending the cash. If you can live with this, the HP Elite Folio is a beautiful 2-in-1 laptop. What do you guys think? Leave your comments and discuss below. Hope you guys enjoyed the review of the HP Elite Folio laptop. Please click on the like button if you enjoyed this review video and subscribe if you would like to watch more of our tech videos. Thanks for watching. Cheers.